Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And we've got some big news uh, for this episode, as you might notice in the top left-hand corner of the screen. I now have a national flag. That's right. So uh, Northern Ireland has approached me and given me a job. Uh, without an interview, without anything, they just came and gave me the job. I accepted because I thought it would be fun to um, manage a national team as well. If we take a quick look at Northern Ireland, I haven't actually looked at them or their squad or in anything yet. I haven't had time for it because I literally just accepted the job. So they are 79th of the world, world rec- ranking, currently playing the International League um, Division C. And we've got Armenia, Kazakhstan and Montenegro in our group. So I'm not really sure how they compare. Montenegro is below us in the ranking, Kazakhstan is below us and Armenia is also below us. So yeah, we should in theory come out on top of this group. Um, This is the current squad, if we sort it by position. Uh, I don't know any of these players, I don't even know if some of these players are real life or not. I presume they are, because say this guy's probably real life, yeah, because they're quite old. Okay, so yeah, so I'll be taking a look at the squad and be playing through it. And this is just a good way to get to know new players and get to, I guess in a way, scout Northern Irish players. And that could help us in um, in our ventures at Hereford. Now, back at Hereford, um, we are now playing in the in uh, Skybet League One. We are much much worse worse than the rest of the team, so we're probably not going to do anything in this league. We might even get relegated potentially. But um, yeah, so if taking a look at the current schedule, we lost both matches against QPR who are in first and Luton who are in third. Next up Plymouth who are in 10th so maybe there's a hope here for something but I don't know. We managed to um, draw on penalty, win on penalties against Bradford City who are in the league below that we just came from. Uh, we, we managed to win the first round of the Carabao Cup against them so we're going to play Cardiff for the second ra- round. Cardiff, who are better than us and probably will knock us out. For the Papa John's, we have a mixture of uh, teams with, with, I think, the better team here. Um, maybe Wycombe might pose us a threat, who knows. And obviously, we just still don't have the um, schedule for the FA Cup. But um, yeah, big changes in the squad. Um, So over the summer, there were a lot of uh, players that left. I think in total, we must have lost about 12 players, uh, either because they left because their loan ended or because they retired or simply because they got transferred. I think one of of the players at least accepted a transfer from another team. And some of them, the contract ran out and they decided to leave the club without a renewal. Uh, the most shocking was our captain left the club without renewal, which was... Actually, let's see where he's at. Alex Lumana. Um. Okay, so he's in our league, annoyingly. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, a couple of players left. Oh, Jack Nolan was the other one, I think. Who also left... And now he's a free agent without a club. Look how that turned out for you. But anyway, we managed to find replacements. I don't think we really improved any positions as such. Uh, No, I don't think so. So yeah, so the squad quality is pretty much similar to last year, which is why we're going to be struggling so much in this season. First up, we have two new new goalkeepers, Sam Blair who's on loan from Brighton. He's going to be with us. He's still a real-life player. So he's come originally from Norwich as a youth. And the other goalkeeper is Ruben Townsend, a regen. And he was previously from Reading. So he's with us now. Um, in the right of defence, also two new players. Robbie McKenzie, 33-year-old real-life player from... Uh, Hall and Gillingham. 
on a free transfer. I think all of these are free transfers because we had no budget. And James King, who is also a regen, if I could find him. Jamie King, uh, 26 year old uh, from Cork City and Treaty United. So very much in the Irish sort of, in the Irish um, championships. And the left side of the fence, we still have Matthew Horn, who is now our team leader. Uh, quite worrying, actually, because he's unambitious, but hopefully that will change over time. Um, and also, we have Samuel o Owusu, 19-year-old regen on loan from Wycombe, which means we can't play him when we play Wycombe, who are in our league and also in that Carabao Cup. So slightly, you know, we won't be able to use this player all the time. Uh, for this reason, but um, we have Matthew Horn, who's our main player in that position anyway. In the centre of defence, we have two new players. Uh, Thomas McManus and Nussbaum have been with us before, so they are our main defensive and cover uh, position defenders. For the defensive backup, uh, we have Ollie McCauley, 22-year-old regen, looking really good. Uh, he's uh, on loan from MK Dons. And for the cover position, we have bought a new player, Mo Broman, Brogan, sorry, Scottish player, um, Aberdeen, and so on. So, so that's the defence. For the uh, defensive midfielding position, we have finally purchased, or well, not purchased because we didn't pay for him, but we um, made a permanent deal with uh, Uno Launen, who's been with us before um, and we went and got on loan Chris Williamson uh, Northern Irish player actually from Cr Crusaders um, so yeah he's been in the started off in the English championship and then moved over to Northern Ireland to his home in the midfielding position no changes so we still have uh, Martin Ifkish and Alex McBride no changes there uh, a small tweak in the attacking midfielding position only that we went and got Jack Waterstone back from the under 23s so that's um, the only change there we still have just come for the main sort of position in that role now in the right side of attack we have one more player Spencer Chadwick is on loan 22 year old from Stoke uh, and um, Bradley Stephen Bradley is still on the other player, the other player we have for that position. On the left side, we still have Ian Davis, and we went and got Ben Carter to replace Jack Nolan. Um, so again, not a very developed player by any means. Technically, le le leaves a lot to desire for, but you know he might develop. Who knows? Uh, he's just a backup anyway. And then in attack, we still have Phil Pope and Stephen White. What does that mean? Oh, I see. And committed to the... Okay, so he's Northern Irish. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, and Phil Pope there. So how many Northern Irish players do I have? Just the two. Okay. Not committed to represent the national team. Why? Is he from another country as well? He's also Irish. Hmm. I might be able to convince him to join. Who knows? If I need him. I don't know if I need him yet. Uh, th but that would be good to have a player that plays with me in the national national team. He looks like he... I don't know. I don't even know what the other players in Northern Ireland look like in terms of ability. But yeah. Anyway. So we are going to jump into a match. I might have already selected. I can't remember. Uh, it looks... It looks like I've selected everything. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and play against Plymouth. And in the meantime, I can just tell you things like uh, the youth team have uh, won again the their division in the summer. So in the summer, they were crowned champions for the second time of their division. We don't have... To money to improve the youth level or the youth facilities or anything like that so it's likely they'll stay in that division for still a while to come the under 23s is looking great as well um 
we have lots and lots of good players. I think um, the development center says the, stro the, sh the squad is very strong. Um, uh, unfortunately, we don't have a league to play in yet. I think that comes if you go up um, up the leagues and eventually they play in the under-23s league and also in the Carabao Cup. But at the moment, we, uh, we're not a big club. We're not big enough to do that. Which is a shame because we have lots and lots of new players, but they kind of just stick around there and then join the first team for the odd game. Um, I tend to use quite a lot of youth players um, just because I do a lot of um, management of uh, f the fitness. So when uh, when players are tired, uh, even if it's just a tiny bit, I rest them. So they'll have plenty of opportunity to fill up the gaps that the first team players leave behind when they go on rest. So yeah, so for this season, I don't really have any high hopes. Um, I'm actually expecting to be relegated again, sadly. But um, we'll see how the season goes on. Uh, I didn't exhaust the wage budget, so it's possible that we might be able to get some better players in the January window. Um, that would be that would be really good. And obviously, once these guys start gelling a bit more together, it's a lot of these players are new to each other, so there isn't really. Uh, so if you have a look at this, um, there's no like links between them or anything like that. Uh, I think only. 11 players are, yeah, about 11 players are um, f known to each other, so they were with us before. Uh, 10 of them from last season, and then one who came from the under-23s. So, um, yeah, just new to the club. Everything's brand new, so it's going to take a while for them to gel together. Yeah, so the quality hasn't really... Oh gosh, that was a terrible mistake by the goalkeeper there. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, because the quality of player hasn't improved from last season, it might even have declined slightly. I think goalkeeping-wise, we're not in as a... In a we had better options last year for goalkeepers. Right side of the... Uh, right side of the fence was about the same. Left side of the fence, I think... Zordania was a bit better than the current backup. Uh, the fence, yeah, both central defender positions were about the same. Midfield was about the same. Um, and every, yeah, all the, it's just defense, I think. Our defense is not as good as last year. Everything else is the same. But then bearing in mind that defense, the defense was our strong, um, uh, yeah, our, our strength was was defense. All of our defense was very good compared to the other teams, to the point that uh, we got the Iron Curtain achievement. We conceded the fewest goals in the season, even though we didn't score many, because we conceded such few amount of goals. We we were able to be crowned champions, which is really cool. If you haven't checked out last episode, then you go and check it out. That's when we celebrate our title win. We are losing quite heavily here to Plymouth. And I feel like this might become a trend for this season. We need some money. We need some money desperately at this club so we can do some proper signings and we can upgrade some of the things. Um, I'm quite keen to start upgrading training facilities and the youth as well so we can get some better youth. That thing is we need to make money out of our youth and if we're not upgrading them then there's not going to be much money to be made. I'm just going to take a bit of a sip here from my coffee. Okay, so that's a heavy loss. And we find ourselves in the bottom place. Uh, goodness me. Okay, so we are going to progress. I'm going to continue and 
uh, see where this leads us really um, in the meantime if there's anything that happens exciting uh, anything anything exciting within the Northern Ireland um, team um, the main focus of this series is in Northern Ireland it's just Hereford but if anything exciting happens I'll show you here um, or uh, I'll show you on Patreon as well so thanks so much for watching until the end it's a bit of a short episode this one only 15 minutes but um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and give it a like and subscribe as well. You can also check out the playlist for the series if you haven't watched all the, ep all the episodes. And go and check out P Patreon as well. You'll find all, all the news about the Nor Northern Irish uh, adventure on there. Thank you so much then. Take care. Bye-bye.